Hello everyone, this is Eth Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So I've finally done it. We are at episode zero of the Damage Calc series. And as I've teased before, uh, I'll be making this, this is the start of a series, a video series where I try and teach how to calculate damage in this game, learning damage calcs and Fire Emblem Heroes. So, the idea with this series is I'll have two parts. First part will be mostly just dealing with the mechanics of damage calcs, how things work like stats, specials, all the shenanigans that go on in this ep first episode here, episode zero, <laughs> is just intended to be like a teaser so you have an idea of what to expect as we go on the series. This is not intended to be a super professional series. Everything is going to be, for the most part, unedited and uncut and all that, all those shenanigans. No scripts or anything. This is just off my knowledge of damage calcs, especially from where I learned it, Cough Cough Gamepedia. <laughs> Although they are renovating the damage calcs page so that's currently not a reference as of this video that as of the time I'm recording this that you can use to learn but it's just gonna be a chill series I hope to make each video 10 minutes or less hopefully shorter than that even because I know people's attention spans are not incredibly long so we're gonna be Definitely breaking it up into a lot of episodes. But we'll start from the super basics, from like what's our stats in this game, how how do they work, <laughs> kind of a deal. And then we go into more interesting things like weapon triangle, how things like triangle adept work, or like the gem weapons and all that good stuff. Weapon Triangle Disadvantage, all the shenanigans that go on with modifying your attack. So stuff like having effective damage on all sorts of units that are in the meta nowadays, how that factors into your calculations. Stuff that helps boost your attack or like blade tomes, oops, or like blizzard here which gives you more attack based off of debuffs on the opponent. Just all sorts of shenanigans that are going on in the game that people generally have an idea about, but they might not know formally, you know, how it works. And then there's stuff like Mystic Boost that changes the way you calculate damage. So like Mystic Boost helps negate skills like Raffle Staff and stuff like how dragons can attack the lower stat between the foe's defensor res if they're a ranged unit. And then we go, we'll be looking at specials that can cut into people's defense and res like Luna, Moonbow, and then the infamous Black Luna. And of course, way other things in the game like defense tiles, how they, how they interact with these kind of specials. And it just keeps going on. It's actually relatively simple to learn the mechanics, but in the second part of the series, I'll be looking into a bit about how to apply your knowledge once you learn the mechanics, because again, it's not too terribly difficult to learn how to calculate damage in the game, but it's more of a matter of being able to apply it to scenarios. So there'll be examples and stuff like that later in the series, but there's plenty of other things to look at like specials, just all these kinds of different specials, what kind of damage they are, how they interact with stats and such, and then there's your usual like Glimmer and Astra that boosts your damage dealt, but you know, how does that work? What counts towards Glimmer and Astra's bonus damage and what doesn't? And of course, the infamous swarm of what people call true damage nowadays, but 
I'm going to figure out my own little jargon for it. I'm not entirely set on what I'll call it, but you'll know by the time the episode comes out. But it's not entirely true damage. It only It's only that way because of how the meta is right now. And down the line, it might become just like your normal attack step, basically, where it's not guaranteed damage if the... Depending on how the game progresses, we'll see what happens, but you, skills like Dark Excalibur, Vassal's Blade, Wodao, and stuff like Luna Arc, or if I don't have Brave Alm, but he has Sen Scale, stuff like that are all what people call true damage, so I know people have made videos about quote-unquote true damage and what it is. But I just figured, you know, to be comprehensive, we'll be covering it as well. And then there's the flip side to that, and it's stuff like Shield Pulse, and defensive specials like Ice Mirror, or Pavis, Aegis, all that stuff. Irvine, Deflect Melee, Deflect Magic, Deflect Missile, all these ways that you can reduce damage by like a percentage, or in the case of Shield Pulse, it's just a flat minus 5 damage. So looking at how that works, and towards the end of the series, on the first part, we'll be looking at stuff like AoE specials, healing, mid, mid combat healing, so like specials such as Noontime, Soul, or I don't have Legendary Ephraim, but he has Solar Brace, things like that. Um, not, shouldn't be too difficult to explain that stuff. And then other random stuff like Miracle. And whatever else is in the game <laughs> that can change the way damage calcs end up. So, nothing too special for the series. It's just going to try to be as comprehensive as possible to a degree. Uh, as a preface, I'm probably, it's because it's all uncut, unedited, and all that stuff, no scripting. I'll definitely miss things or have errors, so... You know, I might ep release episode 2 and realize I said something wrong or something. So, or something gets added into the game where I need to mention something. And so I'll be making, for example, like an episode 2.1, 2.2, however many I need to address any changes or pointing out errors that I made. So you can probably expect plenty of those. <laughs> but... It'll be pretty fun. Again, this is just a casual series, so we'll see how this goes. I'm sure anyone who's interested in learning will definitely get something out of the series if I do it all right. And, uh, so you can look forward to that. I don't know how long this is going to take, but again, this is episode zero, so, uh, at the very least, you don't have to expect an episode 0.1 anytime soon. I'll probably make timestamps and stuff in the descriptions of each video so you can skip to sections that you're interested in and of course probably a link to a playlist where I'll have all the videos as I release them. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching as always and Ether Dragon. This is Ether Dragon. <laughs> uh, this is going to be great and hope to see you all next time. Bye.